The Holland Lighthouse, better known as Big Red, is a famous local icon, and the Holland Sentinel recently took a tour of the lighthouse, guided by John Gronberg, secretary of the Holland Harbor Historical Lighthouse Commission, and Holland Museum President Joel Lefevre. The Holland Harbor Historical Lighthouse Commission is in the process of acquiring a title to the lighthouse from the Department of the Interior. The Department of Interior said that we were in line, we had passed all of uh, these aspects yeah, of the thing yeah. and they were ready to go offer a quit claim deed to us. We feel that, for instance, since this is still remains an active light, since right. the Coast Guard is still here maintaining, and since it's on a Corps of Engineers improvement, mm -hmm. that indeed the easements should stay in place. And with that, that gives us a right to be here. But the Lighthouse Commission walks a tightrope of sorts between safety and accessibility. It's a challenge because you, you want the lighthouse to be preserved the way it was used to accommodate people. You would have to do too many changes where that hatch is, where that old pipe railing is. Um, I mean, that's not up to code. Then we learn something that isn't widely known. Yeah. Nobody has yeah. ever actually lived in Big Red. This lighthouse was never occupied. You know, it has, it is built and it has a place for people to live upstairs. It has watch rooms. Mm -hmm. But in 1874, they built a lighthouse keeper house on shore. And it's a lot easier to keep house on shore than walking out that thousand foot elevated walkway in, in inclement weather. These were the two watch rooms that were designed in the, ge in the generic aspect of the building in the first place. And as I said, there was never any occupancy of these. The reason there's two watch rooms is that you have a shift on and a shift off. So again, these colors were very close to what was originally done in here. Uh, as I said, although never occupied. And Joel, Joel had thought that uh, these had been recolored or perhaps painted in the first place and then stripped down. But uh, Bill Tasler has been our director of maintenance and Bill has said that as, as long as he has been here, they have been in this type of a, a treatment. So, okay. But we're going to uh, perform at some point in time a historic structures report and oh, that's okay. what you base your restoration on the historic structures report and a paint analysis and the paint analysis basically takes samples from all the walls to see what colors may have been there oh, through wow. the years uh, but it's not an inexpensive task you know the it's in the in the air with a microscope yeah it's it's in the neighborhood of 6 to 10,000 bucks just for the paint analysis yeah. we've we've done that on Capon House Settlers House John and Joel gave us a crash course in the care of a lighthouse lens. The Fresnel lenses are made out of massive amounts of ground glass. Yeah. And the heat during the day and during the night, the heat changes made them expand and contract. So a lot of the grout would fall out and everything else. So yeah. what you tried to do was keep a constant heat. So what they did is brought in a 40-year-old furnace by the time it got here. The, the new light, the, uh, the lenses are more like a tail light of a car. They're made out of plastic. I'm standing next to the, the uh, lens from the Holland Lighthouse. Uh, back in 1977, the Holland uh, Historic Lighthouse Commission um, was really concerned that vandals would uh, smash the prisms on this lens. Um, this is a it's called a Fresnel lens. Uh, it was um, it was a, a type of lighthouse lens that was de developed in the 19th century. The prisms focused the light to make it more intense. Originally, these were lit with oil lamps, and to get a beam that was strong enough, you had to focus that light. And so, therefore, they um, on on the front side, you can act you're actually kind of looking at this from the side. The, the larger part of the lens had a stronger focus. The back part of the lens had a less strong focus. And so therefore, this would rotate like a turret. And as it rotated, you would get a strong beam and a weak beam and, and the typical how you see the lighthouse. It was made in Paris in 1894. They had to hand grind the crystal uh, to, and it had to be without 
without imperfections to be able to focus the light the way they needed it to, to work. 